Hey there, future space explorers. Welcome to Learning is Fun. Today, we're embarking on the ultimate adventure to explore the universe. From the swirling dust clouds of nebulae to the blazing hearts of stars, the universe is a cosmic candy jar filled with wonder. Our journey begins with the largest structures in the universe galaxies. These vast islands of stars, gas, and dust are scattered throughout the cosmos like shimmering jewels on a black velvet cloth. Imagine our own Milky Way galaxy, a swirling disk of hundreds of billions of stars, each one a sun, in its own right. If you could travel at the speed of light, it would still take you a hundred thousand years to cross our galaxy from edge to edge. And the Milky Way is just one of trillions of galaxies in the observable universe. Some galaxies are spirals like our own with graceful arms swirling outwards, others are elliptical resembling giant cosmic footballs, and then there are irregular galaxies, misshapen and chaotic, perhaps the result of cosmic collisions. At the heart of many galaxies, astronomers believe, lurk supermassive black holes, objects so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape their gravitational pull. Within these galaxies amidst the swirling clouds of gas and dust, a cosmic ballet is constantly unfolding, the birth and death of stars. Stars are born in vast cold clouds of gas and dust known as nebulae. These nebulae are like cosmic nurseries where gravity gently pulls together the raw materials for star formation. As the cloud collapses under its own weight, it heats up, and a protostar begins to form at its center. Over millions of years the protostar continues to gather material growing hotter and denser. Eventually the pressure and temperature at its core become so intense that nuclear fusion ignites. Hydrogen atoms fuse together forming helium and releasing an enormous amount of energy. A star is born. Stars come in a variety of sizes, temperatures and colors. The smallest stars, known as red dwarfs, are cool and faint, and they can live for trillions of years. The largest stars, called blue supergiants, are incredibly hot and bright, but they live fast and die young, often ending their lives in spectacular supernova explosions. As stars form they often leave behind a swirling disk of leftover gas and dust. This disk, known as a protoplanetary disk, is where planets are born. Over millions of years the tiny particles in the disk collide and stick together, gradually growing larger and larger. This process, called accretion, is like building a planet brick by brick, except the bricks are grains of dust and ice. As these planetesimals grow their gravity becomes stronger, attracting more and more material from the surrounding disk. Eventually some planetesimals become large enough to be classified as planets. These planets can be rocky, like Earth and Mars or gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. The type of planet that forms depends on its distance from the star and the composition of the protoplanetary disk. Rocky planets form closer to the star, where it is hotter, and the disk is made up mostly of rock and metal. Gas giants form farther out, where it is colder and the disk contains more ice and gas. Our own solar system is a diverse collection of planets, each with its own unique characteristics. Now let's journey to the outer reaches of our solar system where temperatures plummet and icy wanderers roam. These are the comets often called dirty snowballs because they are made up of ice, dust, and rock. Imagine a giant snowball, perhaps the size of a mountain hurtling through space. That's a comet. But these cosmic snowballs are not content to simply drift silently through the darkness. As they approach the sun, something magical happens. The sun's heat begins to vaporize the ice in the comet, creating a glowing halo of gas and dust around its nucleus. This halo, called the coma, can stretch for thousands of kilometers. And as the comet gets even closer to the sun, the solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly flowing from our star, pushes the coma's gas and dust into a long, flowing tail. This tail, often millions of kilometers long, is what makes comets so spectacular to see from Earth. It's like a cosmic banner, trailing behind the comet as it streaks across the sky. From the grand scale of galaxies and stars we now turn our attention to the infinitesimal, the building blocks of matter itself. Everything we see, touch, and feel from the air we breathe to the ground beneath our feet is made up of atoms. Imagine a world so small that a grain of sand would seem like a vast continent. That's the world of atoms. These tiny particles are the fundamental units of all matter in the universe. 
Each atom consists of a nucleus made up of protons and neutrons surrounded by a cloud of electrons. Protons carry a positive charge, electrons carry a negative charge, and neutrons have no charge. The number of protons in an atom's nucleus determines what element it is. For example, all atoms with one proton are hydrogen atoms, all atoms with two protons are helium atoms, and so on. The arrangement of electrons in an atom's electron cloud determines its chemical properties, how it interacts with other atoms to form molecules and compounds. It's amazing to think that the incredible diversity of our universe, from the simplest elements to the most complex life forms, arises from the interactions of these tiny particles. Atoms are constantly in motion, vibrating, rotating, and even colliding with each other. As we explore the universe, we encounter mysteries that challenge our understanding of physics and push the boundaries of our imagination. One of the most profound mysteries is the existence of dark matter and dark energy. Imagine a cosmic recipe where we can only see a fraction of the ingredients. That's the situation astronomers face when studying the universe. The matter we can see, stars, galaxies, planets, accounts for only about 5% of the total mass and energy of the universe. The rest is made up of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, as its name suggests, does not interact with light, making it invisible to our telescopes. We know it exists because of its gravitational effects on visible matter. Galaxies rotate faster than they should based on the visible matter alone, suggesting that they are embedded in a halo of invisible dark matter. Dark energy is even more mysterious. It is a hypothetical form of energy that permeates all of space and is thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. From the majestic galaxies to the tiniest atoms, the universe is an endless source of fascination. It's a cosmic tapestry woven with threads of wonder, beauty, and mystery. As we continue to explore and learn, we unravel more secrets of the universe, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and igniting our imaginations. So, keep looking up at the stars, asking questions, and never stop exploring the wonders of the cosmos. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic journey. If you had fun and learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to. And let me know in the comments, what's your favorite part of the universe? Until next time, keep looking up and wondering.